What is up guys, welcome to my new video and today we have some more of the crew too and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the full patch notes from patch 1.0.0.3 Did I actually get that right first time? Nah, fucked it. I fucked it boys. It's patch 1.0.3 Now I asked you guys in the first patch video I did about the, the crew two's latest patch if you guys wanted to see me talk about the actual full patch notes and maybe a bit more of the nitty gritty of what's been fixed uh, and you guys basically said yeah you did want to see that video so this is a, re a result of the response from that video um, and essentially what we're gonna go ahead and do is go through the patch notes I'm not actually gonna go through every single nitty-gritty thing because some of them are a bit pointless and you know some of them just aren't really applicable to many people uh, so I've kind of picked out what I think are the kind of highlights of this patch and we're just gonna go ahead and speak about that now now before I go ahead and get into this we should also note that the devs have mentioned that you know they're not gonna really be adding stuff yet they want to densify the game what they mean by this is they want to be fixing you know the existing issues if there's any problems that which make the game unplayable etc that is what they're going to be focusing on in the first few patches you know they're going to be focusing on fixing stuff and then later down the line once all those things are fixed then they're going to start looking at adding things so if you are looking for say something like pvp uh just don't Get, not yet, not quite yet. I don't think we're going to see it yet. First, they have to fix a few game-breaking things like wheels not working with the game and crashing the game a lot. Um, those types of things before we move on to, you know, the bigger updates. And of course, we've got Gate Rush in September, which is only around the corner. But anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the patch notes. So I'm going to be reading off my screen. So if I look over here, that is why. But we're going to go ahead and go through some of my personal patch highlights. So the first one is that co-op scoring disciplines and dynamic freestyle exploits have been patched. What this means is that if you didn't already know you could basically just do a looping for ages uh, and basically just rack up loads of fame levels and you just your fame level would go, would go through the roof this resulted in pe on people on PC you know getting macros uh, ready so if you literally press the button it just do it for hours on end and you know you just rack up loads of icon points and you'd obviously be AFK and it just uh, ended up being a whole thing where you could you could basically rank up for doing nothing and console is a bit harder but if you do have a controller you can easily like rubber band that down and then rubber band, rubber band down the RT uh, uh, trigger on, on your controller as well and do the exact same thing. Just it takes a bit more effort on console because obviously, you know, PC is just a lot more open. It's been fixed though. So now you can't, you know, use these specific freestyle exploits. I know there was one with the monster trucks which got um, nerfed quite quickly. Uh, so, you know, it does look like, you know, these types of scoring and these types of leveling, these types of ways of leveling up are kind of seen as a bit of a cheat in their eyes, at the dev's eyes. So if you have used these in the future, just know that like that's how they view this kind of stuff so they will be patching them I don't think they're gonna be banning anyone for doing these types of things because it's kind of their fault it's not really to get like, the, the players fault because it's something which you could find yourself doing in the open world and I'm sure there is you know people that are going insane that I love doing that kind of shit but obviously it's been patched so just just so you know for the future these things will probably be fat patched in the future as well they've also fixed uh, several cases of icon levels uh, missing rewards so sometimes uh, when you hit an icon level uh, uh, you know, you were unable to redeem a reward. It's quite annoying now that's been patched. The games would sometimes be able to save your favourite vehicle, which obviously is quite annoying. And I did mention this earlier, but a little exploit or a little uh, a little bug with the T500 RS Thrustmaster wheel made it so that the game would freeze when you actually use the wheel like under any circumstance. This is something which I've I've seen a lot of friends of mine struggle with uh, that use wheels on PC at least. So just know if that you if you do use a PC on this game, they're obviously looking at that. The Thrustmaster's already been fixed, which is one of the most popular wheels uh, so just keep keep an eye out for future patches to see if your wheel is in, on, on the list next I found that this is pretty much a wheel specific issue if you're using a controller on PC you're not gonna have an issue but that's there for those that are interested entering and leaving the pause menu and banking dynamic freestyle followers even if the max cap, max cap is reached has been fixed so essentially uh, there's a few ways that this was kind of like exploited in drift mode uh, if you you know went into a drift pause the game uh, it automatically rack up all the points and the time would keep going uh, so obviously that's going to be cancelled now and they have said that they are looking at wiping all the leaderboards for uh, for you know scores that have been glitched so if you have glitched in this game and use some of these glitches your leaderboard times and stuff will go down as a result but again no et on when that's actually happening but they have said that is something they're looking into another thing which they've talked about uh, very vaguely in streams this isn't actually in the patch notes but they talked about it in one of their streams is that they are looking at the bug where favorite 
separate cars uh, don't save in the uh, in the in the house. So in your house, um, occasionally, um, you know, when you go in, you'll notice that the cars are, are random each time. Uh, you're supposed to be able to save those and have your specific cars in the specific areas you want them. And they are looking at a fix on that. But you know, just in that kind of you know talking about the cars in the house. Essentially, a rewards program car is now unable to be set as a favorite when a car is shown in the house. So you might notice, for those that have the reward program, the MX-5 always spawns in first, and now that's not gonna be a problem. It's gonna be, you know, the car of your choice, uh, the car that's your favorite car that spawns in first. I know it's a very annoying thing for me. I noticed my MX-5 kept spawning in as my favorite vehicle, and I thought it was just something that the game was supposed to do. Um, so I actually customized it because it was getting annoying to see like a stock MX-5 every Every time I spawned in, uh, but now that's changed, so you know your favorite vehicle will be there instead of the rewards vehicle. They've also increased the amount of fame you need to go up at every icon level, and they've said that this is only applicable to levels above a thousand. So for most people, this doesn't really matter. They fixed the rewards program pop up, which happens every time you go in the game. If you have any reward vehicles, uh, you'd notice that before this patch, you know, it come up every single time. Now that's been fixed. And the best thing about this patch, in my personal opinion, is that they've gone and increased the epic drop rate for purple parts in high. Hard mode. I always thought it was pink, but apparently this is purple, so we're just gonna go with it. Absolutely sick what I wanted to see. It's very nice that they've included this. Uh, it's something which I've definitely noticed in game, and I, I just I can't say thank you enough to Ivory for doing this. I think this is the one thing out of the whole patch, which is kind of the highlight. It's the main thing which for me I'm most interested in. Thank you, Ivory, for listening to the community and increasing it in hard mode. It's now so much easier to upgrade cars, and you'll also notice, it's not in the patch notes, but they did say on stream that if you have a level 280 car, you'll never get a below 280 part. You might get a green 280 part, and you might get a blue 280 part, but you're never going to get anything lower than 280, or on very, very rare circumstances. And that in itself is also really cool. And that pretty much rounds it up for the patch notes. I will link the whole patch notes down in the description if you want to go ahead and look for, look, at, look at everything for yourselves. But those were kind of like everything that you need to know, pretty much. So I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day. Safe and peace.